Ladies and gentlemen, here we are in the dining hall at Refuge Ranch, bringing you the second uh, devotional of the series. And of course, it takes us into the book of Mark, chapter 12, verse 30 and 31. There's a commandment there that Jesus gives. He says, and Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. The second is like, namely this, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. Well, the first word I want to draw our attention to is the word love. Uh, I, I used this portion of scripture recently at a, at a loaves and fishes supper in Red Deer. And I made mention there of the fact, and I would like to say to you uh, people here, it doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are, how rich you are, how poor you are, you can love. You can love. This is just God ordained. He has created man with a capacity to love, but it will need to be God's love that flows in and through us that really brings about a love that God talks about. Uh, we all have some sort of an idea of love, but if you truly want to know about God's love and the way God looks at love is read 1 Corinthians 13. It says here, the Lord thy God, love the Lord thy God. Now the first two words, the, the Lord, indicates to me that he is Lord, whether he is my Lord or not, that's immaterial. He is the Lord. Now if he is thy God, then he ought also to be your Lord. Uh, uh, that means that he is Lord, he, he governs, he rules. Uh, and if he rules in our life, then loving him should not be a problem. And it says, to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. What does that mean? Uh, your heart is where your spirit and your soul are. And with all your heart, that means with all your spirit, with all your soul, you need to be loving God. All thy soul, it's emphasized here, the soul, the soul of man. The soul is your mind, will, and emotions. This is where the planning and the thinking takes place. Uh, the, de the deciding part of you is there as well. Um, so our thoughts and our plans should always be centered around God. We love the Lord our God. Our thoughts, our plans, our decisions, they, be, they should be around God. Then it also says, all thy mind. The mind is also part of the soul. And it's an em emphasized here because what you think is what you will do. The, the, the mind thinks, the mind plans, the mind, uh, the soul makes a choice, a decision, and action takes place. Um, what we think is what we do, and with our thoughts, we need to love God. <laughs> then it will not be a problem serving God. All thy strength. There we go. Now we're into the serving part. Now we're into the action part. We're into the doing part. Our physical strength will be exercised by what we think. And that's why it's important what we think. What are we thinking? Well, then it says to love thy neighbor as thyself. You cannot love your neighbor if you do not love yourself. We need to love ourselves. We need to love God. We need to love our neighbors. And to love our neighbors, that means that we are now going to bring forth an action of love and appreciation towards our neighbor as well as to ourselves. As thyself. Key. As thyself. Love as thyself. We need to love ourselves. There's some people that do not love themselves. We need to love ourselves. We need to look in the mirror and say, you know what, I love you. <laughs> I love you. Uh, let us love ourselves, our Lord, God, and our neighbor. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for the possibility of uh, loving you. Uh, and, and loving our neighbor having your love flow in and through us Lord God uh, may this be a part of us daily to love ourselves love you loving our neighbor pray this in the name of Jesus Amen If I gave up all I own and my body 
body to be burned If I have not love I am nothing 